It's fairly safe to say there are two main forces which drive capitalism. One, the desire to make money, which determines people to do their best to succeed. Two, the fear of losing money, which makes people act in a prudent manner. Love it or hate it, this is pretty much how the economy functions in the developed world. Those are the rules, so to speak. You make money if you do a good job and lose money if you do a bad job. However, as the Great Recession has proven, it seems not all players have to abide by these rules. Due to bad decisions, lots of companies such as the insurer AIG or the auto manufacturer General Motors should have gone bankrupt after the global financial crisis of 2007 to 2008. However, the government considered them too big to fail and they ended up being rescued. Who paid for this? Well, everyone else. The main moral, as well as pragmatic dilemma with so-called bailouts is this. If you reward instead of punish those who made bad decisions, aren't you setting a dangerous precedent? For example, a lot of banks that gave loans recklessly or even fraudulently were rescued. Before the crisis, the main culprits gave themselves huge bonuses, and after the crisis hit it and they had to be rescued, well, they kept giving themselves huge bonuses. It should come as no surprise that the term moral hazard is used to describe such situations because let's face it, they're morally questionable to say the least.